extra wide band. All right, what I think I'll do is I'm gonna go ahead and test it from a little bit of distance and see what type of range we get testing from a macro. So I'm gonna go ahead and drive over there. All right, guys, we're over here uh, at the end of the lot, and I don't seem to be picking it up directly right now. I'm gonna see if that changes. We'll see if it picks it up. Maybe, maybe we're too far, possibly. All right, so there it is in the back right there. I don't know. Doesn't look like it's picking it up. I thought it might if it's, you know, got the right direction, possibly. All right, so this is the entrance of the school. Up, it did pick it up. Nice, that's pretty nice range. We'll try it from outside the car. Uh, you'll see the range, it's, I don't know, we're probably about a thousand feet away or so. The ping time is still pretty low, that's pretty good. We're still getting gigabit speed from this range. That's pretty impressive. 1.4 gigs on the downlink. We got the 22 ping and the uplink is still strong. We're still over the 40s. That's pretty good stuff. I mean, that's that's decent range. A lot of people question if it can reach a thousand feet. I mean, that is definitely 1,000 feet. We're coming off that macro there. Pretty good speed. So 1.4 gigs down, 43 on the up. Uh, let's go ahead and try it in the car. A lot of people question, does it work through glass? All right, looks like indeed it does. Works through glass. The signal is there. 5G ultra wideband. Let's go ahead and test it. Does it work through glass? Let's see. Ah, oh, it looks like it does. Ping time's even better. Oh, I actually got faster in here. <laughs> looks like glass makes the signal better. Look at that. 15 milliseconds down, uh, or excuse me, 15 millisecond ping. And we got 2.4 gigs on the downlink, 2.4. So 2,429 megs. And then for the uplink, even better than before, we're getting faster speeds. Looks like 72 on the down. I'm gonna drive around the lot and just speed test it a little bit. So if you're in the car, you know what type of speeds you'll be getting. Uh, you know, if you're staying connected to the ultra wideband. Give you guys an idea of how it works as you're driving around. A lot of people question if it works in uh, in cars. I'm, I'm not really sure where they've been, but I've been, I've been doing this speed testing stuff with ultra wideband for a long time. All right, I'm just driving around here. All right, I'll see it. I'll give you guys that view. You can see that I am driving up disconnected. <laughs> Internet connection. Can't reach speed test. Why the, looks like the app failed. That's okay, we'll run it again. Oh, wait a minute. Hey, uh, that looks like a T-Mobile site back there getting some work done. I don't know if you guys can see it back there. They got an anchor and everything back there. I'm be coming back. I think that thing's getting N41 upgrades. We'll definitely have to test that. Now we're up here. I'm gonna come back to the site during the day, but this is the site that we're testing. I don't, I don't know if you guys can really tell, but there are millimeter wave nodes up there. Yeah. There's that ultra wide band right there. Yeah. Right up there. Really nice throughput. It's an impressive connection, guys. I will tell you, it really is fast. Look at that, 2.7 gigs per second. So we're testing here on the opposite side here on the uh, of the stadium. Uh, they've got three sectors, obviously. So the way it's set up, they're pointing one into the stadium. They're pointing one here in this direction which is towards the baseball field behind me. And then they're pointing towards the front of the school where there's like students and drop-offs and 
stuff like that. So that's impressive stuff. Uh, we'll go ahead and test it again. And that is incredible. I'm going to test it outside too. I want to see if it'll do faster speeds because that is really good. I think we're going to hit three gigs if we step out. It is the, the ultra wide band connection. The millimeter wave is a little temperamental and touchy. So, you know, if we go outside, I think we are going to get better speeds. Let's go ahead and test it. We'll see if I'm correct. So we've got the ultra wide band. <laughs> it looks like the glass makes it better. What? <laughs> That's incredible. I wonder if they're doing anything new with the software. You know, I wonder if they've got some new tricks up their sleeves that we don't know about. You know, some type of software, technology, or, you know, something. They're up there, man. The nodes are up there. But, I mean, very similar. The uplink is better. Look at that. We'll run one more. Why not? Oh, snap, a tree. Oh, man. Test it behind the tree. Why not? <laughs> oh, no, it's a tree. <laughs> People are ridiculous, man. Testing millimeter wave behind a tree. The hell? Get out of here. Kick rocks. Got a tree test here for you guys. Millimeter wave in the tree. We're getting an ultra wide band working through the tree. This is a Verizon 5G ultra wide band. Testing ultra wide band through a tree. Uh, the site's back there, I'll show you guys. Yep, right back there. Ultra wide band on that site. All right, are we back getting blocked by the tree? All right, so there's our first test right there. Ryzen 5G, Ryzen 5G ultra wideband, and we are picking it up. All right, millimeter wave, trees, and it works, it works. It does connect. Hey, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Share it to anybody who says that um, millimeter wave doesn't work through trees. <laughs> this one's a quickie, quick speed test. We got 547 on the downlink, 60 on the uplink, 29 millisecond ping. Uh, looks like the signal strength is decent. We do have Verizon 5G ultra wideband working around through whatever these branches, twigs, and tree. There you go. Proof. I'll try band works around trees. Peace. Thank you for taking this opportunity to watch the SMT YouTube channel. If you appreciated this video, give it a like and a share to all your favorite social media platforms. Thank you in advance for that. Also, check out some of the links in the description box. We have the SMT Patreon page. We also have the Twitter handle at Sneed Tech. And do check out the audio-only podcast available on all the major podcast platforms. And if you are new and have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and activate the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload from the SMT. We'll catch you on the next video. Peace.